Hello fellow boomers, welcome back to AI for Boomers, your trusted guide to understanding and navigating the rapidly changing world of artificial intelligence. Today, we're exploring one of the most critical issues of our time, AI and fake news. Now, here's the big question, is artificial intelligence helping us fight misinformation or is it making things worse? Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll know how to spot fake news in seconds, understand how AI tools work to protect you, and even uncover the truth behind those viral deepfakes. And let me tell you, some of these examples will blow your mind. Quick question for the comments. Have you ever come across an online article or video and thought, this doesn't seem quite right? Share your stories below and let's compare notes. Fake news isn't new but with AI it's taken on a whole new life. Let's start with what fake news actually is. Fake news refers to deliberately false or misleading information presented as fact, often to manipulate opinions, spread propaganda, or simply go viral for profit. Now why does this matter to us? Let's take an example that hits close to home for many of us boomers. In 2020, during the height of the pandemic, a video went viral claiming that gargling salt water could prevent COVID-19. Millions of people, many from our generation, shared it, believing it came from a credible source. Turns out it was fake. No scientific backing, no real expert endorsement, just a fabricated claim. What's scary is how quickly this kind of misinformation spreads and guess what's often behind it? AI. AI has made creating fake news faster and easier than ever. Here are some of the tools being used. Deep fake technology. AI programs like Deepface Lab can create incredibly realistic videos. These tools analyze hours of footage to replicate a person's face, voice, and mannerisms. Example, remember the viral Tom Cruise TikTok videos? They weren't real. They were created by an AI enthusiast who used deepfake software to mimic Cruise perfectly. While harmless in this case, imagine the damage this could do if used maliciously. Text generators. Tools like GPT-4 can write entire articles or blogs that sound professional but are completely fabricated. Example. During the U.S. elections, AI-generated articles claimed certain candidates were involved in criminal activities, stories designed to sway voters without any factual basis. Social media bots, AI-powered bots flood platforms like Facebook and Twitter with fake posts, likes and shares to amplify misinformation. Have you seen posts with hundreds of likes but barely any comments? That's often a sign of bot activity. Let us know if you've noticed this trend in the comment section below. Here's the good news. AI isn't just the problem. It's also the solution. Let's look at how AI is fighting back against fake news. In a world where information spreads at lightning speed, AI has become both the villain and the hero in the battle against fake news. Picture this. Advanced AI systems armed with powerful algorithms are now on the front lines of content moderation. These digital sentinels analyze patterns, language, and context with precision that would make even the most seasoned fact-checker envious. They're not just looking for obvious red flags, they're diving deep into the nuances of language, detecting subtle cues that might escape the human eye. But wait, there's more! AI isn't just playing defense, it's taking the offensive in the war on disinformation. Think of an AI-powered fact-checker cross-referencing claims against vast databases of verified information in mere seconds. This digital detective can spot a recycled hoax or a misattributed quote faster than you can say fake news. And here's where it gets really interesting. AI is learning to spot its own kind. As deepfakes and AI-generated content flood the internet, other AI systems are rising to the challenge. They're reverse engineering manipulated images and videos, exposing the digital fingerprints of fakery. AI isn't alone in this war against fake news, it's teaming up with human experts creating a powerful alliance against misinformation. Together they're developing educational tools, interactive modules and even chatbots to help people navigate the treacherous waters of online information. As we zoom out we see a digital ecosystem where AI acts as a guardian of truth, tirelessly working to maintain the integrity of our information landscape. It's not just about catching lies, it's about fostering a culture of critical thinking and digital literacy. In this AI-powered future, the spread of misinformation faces a formidable opponent. With each passing day, AI grows smarter, more nuanced, and more effective in its mission to preserve the truth in our digital world.
Fact checking used to be a slow manual process but AI has made it almost instant. Platforms like Factstream and Claimbuster scan news articles, cross-reference claims with verified databases, and flag inconsistencies in real time. During the 2022 United States midterm elections, these tools analyzed over a million tweets and identified thousands of false claims in hours, not weeks. That's the power of AI. Stay tuned as we show you more tools and methods to identify fake news. Deepfakes are one of the most alarming aspects of fake news, but AI tools like Microsoft's Video Authenticator are fighting back. These tools examine videos frame by frame, looking for inconsistencies in lighting, pixelation, and even facial movements. Recently, this technology was used to debunk a video of Pope Francis endorsing a political candidate, a video that was 100% fake. Let's bring this closer to home. Fake news isn't just a global issue, it affects us personally. It doesn't just mess with our health or politics, it can also hit us where it hurts most our wallets. Here's a true story that many boomers might relate to. Recently, an AI-powered scam targeted retirees by circulating fake news articles about a once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity endorsed by Warren Buffett. The article looked incredibly legitimate, complete with Buffett's photo, fabricated quotes, and even a link to a fake investment website. Hundreds of people clicked the link, thinking they were investing in a trusted financial plan. In reality, they were handing over their savings to scammers. AI made this scam more convincing than ever. The fake article was generated by AI tools capable of mimicking journalistic styles. Even worse, the scam's website used AI chatbots to answer questions in real time, convincing victims it was a legitimate operation. These scams exploit trust and can leave people financially devastated. That's why staying informed and vigilant is more important than ever. AI can help detect this kind of fake news by flagging these messages as unverified before they go viral. But as much as we would like to trust AI tools fighting and avoiding scams like this, it must always be accompanied with investigating investing opportunities through official channels, double-check URLs for authenticity, and never trust unsolicited offers, especially if they seem too good to be true. Another example is health misinformation. False claims about miracle cures or harmful treatments can have life-threatening consequences. Google Health Search is an AI-driven tool designed to prioritize accurate and reliable health information. When you search for medical topics, this system filters through countless online sources and highlights content from trusted organizations like the Mayo Clinic, World Health Organization, and CDC. It uses advanced algorithms to identify credible sources ensuring that the first results you see are backed by scientific evidence and expert reviews. This reduces the chance of stumbling across misleading claims or harmful advice. For example, if someone searches for COVID-19 treatments, Google Health Search directs them to legitimate studies and approved guidelines, steering clear of unverified miracle cures. It's a simple yet powerful way to avoid falling victim to health-related fake news. Using AI tools like Google Health Search can help you avoid harmful and false information regarding your health. Stay with us as we are moving to the most important part of this video, and if you like what you've seen so far, click on the like button below. Here's the part you've been waiting for. How can you outsmart fake news? Let's break it down into three easy steps. Always ask, who published this? Stick to reputable outlets. And avoid anonymous sources. Let's see how to do searches on the web to avoid fake information. First, start with a clear question or phrase in the search bar, like, best tips for saving money or how to stay fit after 60. Once you hit search, pay close attention to the top results. Look for websites that are well-known and reputable, like government sites, educational institutions ending in DEDU or trusted organizations. These sources are usually ranked higher because they're considered reliable. Next, take advantage of Google's features like the People Also Ask section or snippets that directly answer your question. They can save you time and offer additional clarity. And always double-check the URL of any website before clicking, especially if you're searching for sensitive topics like financial or health advice. 
Lastly, avoid random blogs, forums, or ads unless you've verified their credibility. By sticking to these tips, you'll navigate the internet smarter and safer. Use tools like Snopes or factcheck.org to verify claims. These platforms are free and easy to use. They are like digital detectives investigating claims and stories circulating on the internet. Using these platforms is one of the simplest ways to protect yourself from fake news and misinformation. I'm talking about tools like Snopes or factcheck.org. These platforms are designed to help you quickly verify whether a claim is true or false. Here's how they work. Let's say you come across a news story or social media post that sounds suspicious. Maybe it's a headline claiming a celebrity has passed away or a new law has been secretly passed. Instead of sharing it immediately, head over to Snopes.com or FactCheck.org and type in a few keywords from the story into their search bar. These sites have extensive databases where they investigate viral claims and provide clear explanations on what's true, what's false, and what's somewhere in between. They even include their research sources, so you can see how they arrived at their conclusions. It's a quick and easy habit to form, and it can save you, and those you share information with, from falling for false claims online. In today's digital age, it's crucial to verify information before sharing it, especially for our boomer friends who may not be as familiar with online fact-checking. Remember, it's always better to take a few minutes to fact-check than to accidentally spread misinformation to your friends and family on Facebook or through email. Look for sensational language, lack of evidence, or uncredited quotes. If it sounds too shocking to be true, it probably isn't. For example, when you're reading an article, scrolling through social media, or watching a video, one of the biggest red flags of fake news is sensational language. Sensational language is designed to provoke an emotional reaction, like fear, anger, or excitement, without offering much substance. Phrases like, you won't believe what happened next, or, this one trick will change everything, are big clues. Here's how to spot it. Read, beyond the headline. If the article makes bold claims but doesn't back them up with credible sources or links to evidence, it's a warning sign. For example, let's say you see a headline like, new study proves coffee cures cancer. That's a pretty shocking claim. If the article doesn't include the name of the study, the researchers involved, or where it was published, you should be skeptical. Another clue is uncredited quotes. For example, if an article says, experts agree this is the best solution, but doesn't name those experts or organizations, that's another sign of unreliable information. Credible journalism always identifies its sources. One real-life example. A viral Facebook post claimed a famous TV doctor endorsed a miracle weight loss pill, but a closer look revealed no quotes from the doctor, no mention of the product in any official interviews, and no links to scientific studies. It turned out to be a fabricated ad designed to sell a fake product. So remember, if it sounds too shocking to be true, take a moment to investigate. Use a quick Google search to see if trusted sources are reporting the same story. Fake news relies on you reacting quickly, don't give it that chance. Of course, there's a bigger question. Can we trust AI to police fake news? Algorithms are only as unbiased as the humans who program them. Let's take a moment to dive deeper into the ethical dilemma surrounding AI's role in combating fake news. While AI can be a powerful tool to identify and remove false information, it raises an important question. Can we truly trust AI to police fake news? Here's the core issue. AI is only as unbiased as the humans who create and program it. Algorithms are designed based on datasets and rules provided by developers. But if those datasets are incomplete or skewed, the AI may reflect unintended biases. For example, if an algorithm is trained on news predominantly from one region or political perspective, it might favor certain viewpoints while unfairly flagging or suppressing others. One real-life controversy involved Facebook's use of AI to moderate political content. During the 2020 US elections, there were accusations that the platform's algorithms disproportionately flagged posts from one political party while leaving others untouched. This created public distrust in how these tools operate, even if the bias was unintentional. Another example comes from YouTube, where AI moderation systems designed to remove harmful content mistakenly flagged educational videos about health and history 
as misinformation. These mistakes show how complex and context-sensitive content moderation can be, and they highlight the risks of relying solely on machines for judgment. And let's not forget about privacy concerns. To effectively combat fake news, some AI systems analyze user behavior, what you click on, share, or spend time reading. While this data helps improve accuracy, it also raises questions about how much of our personal information is being collected and used. So, while AI has the potential to fight fake news at an unprecedented scale, we must address these challenges thoughtfully. Should there be human oversight to ensure fairness and accountability? Should we as a society decide where to draw the line between effective moderation and freedom of expression? This ethical dilemma is something we can't ignore and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Should AI be trusted to police fake news? Or should human oversight always be part of the equation? Share with us in the comment section below how you see this challenge and what we should do to address it as a society. AI is a double-edged sword. It can create chaos, but it can also bring clarity. The key is staying informed and vigilant. Before we wrap up, let's quickly recap what we've uncovered today. AI is a powerful force in the fight against fake news, but it's also one of the tools being used to create it. From deep fakes and sensational headlines to AI-powered fact-checkers and detection tools, the battle between truth and misinformation is more intense than ever. The good news? You have the power to outsmart fake news by staying informed, using tools like Snopes and factcheck.org and looking out for red flags like unverified sources or sensational language. Remember, every click, share, and comment matters in shaping the online world we all live in. So what do you think? Is AI more of a friend or a foe in the fight against fake news? Let's discuss in the comments section below. If you found this video interesting and helpful, hit the like button, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe to AI for Boomers. Together we can navigate the digital world with confidence and make it a little bit brighter. Thanks for watching, Boomers. Stay sharp, stay curious, and I'll see you next time.